now ski, and this is abandoned. And today I'm in Macclesfield, walking under a bridge. Now this bridge dates back to 1845, when this track was built by the Manchester and Birmingham Railway, later owned by the London North Western Railway. Now Macclesfield is one of those towns that has many stations, and as it happens right now, a train is passing overhead. So that was really good timing for an intro. Welcome to Macclesfield's first station. Firstly, yes, I have gotten my hair cut. Secondly, Macclesfield isn't really a town known for having an extravagant railway history, like Crewe, for example. It's one of those towns with a kind of mediocre 1960s station, really. But did you know there were five stations? Not simultaneously. Over the course of about 175 years, Macclesfield had five stations. And I'm at station number one. This one is at Bridge Lane. Or, yeah, or Beach Lane. Damn it. The actual site is considered to be this grey area here, you can see on Google Earth or Google Maps or whatever, uh, that's now like an ambulance car park or something. This is where the site is thought to be, if I go to the old map it is just a coal yard, however if I go to an 1840s map it says there's a building and that building is in there. So let's see if we can go and find the building that's listed on this map here. I don't think it's anything to do with the station, actually. Now I think about it, it could be more of a signal box, but there's definitely a building on this 1840s tide map, and there's not one here now. That was loud. So the tithe map for this unfortunately stops just before the station and the era changes to 1839, which is before the track came through. So we can't actually see the site of the old station on the uh, on the tithe map that would have been at the time of the station existing, but we do have this one here. So roughly here, I think, just up here, seems to have been a long building of some description. Now I'm not seeing anything building related up here at all. Oh, I'm seeing a train though. I'm hearing a train. Where is it? Can I get the shot of a train? <laughs> How am I this close to a railway and unable to see it? So, now that that's been a flop, hold on just a minute, I've seen something. I'm going to go off the beaten track. Look, you've got this wall here. That's very nicely done, this wall. Oh gosh. Nettles, I'm in shorts. Yes. I don't think this is anything after all. Ow. I broke a twig. So let's make our way round to the actual site of the station. I just want to do this real quick. Hello! There we go. Nice echo in the bridge there. So. The station was built in 1845, but when was it abandoned? Well, as early as 1849. The station here was only a temporary station for the later station over at Highball Road. They had to bore the tunnel first, you see. So they built the line over here in 1845 here under the Manchester Birmingham Railway. By the time it was extended down to the Highball Road station, it was under the London North Western Railway ownership. The station having only existed for about four years, it hasn't left that much of a mark. So I'm off to see if I can leave, well, can see any of the marks that's left at all. Bear in mind, this was over 170 years ago that this occurred. So let's see if we can find anything at all. Oh, oh, that's a nice bridge. You know what, I had no, oh, a train. As always, I do try to find at least something related to the old railway, and I found something, although it's not very, not very good. Got some sleepers here, being used as planters. Whether the, these are definitely not the sleepers from the 1840s railway. These are when the railway was changed and dramatically altered during the 1960s, when Highball Road Station and Macclesfield Central were closed. But, uh, yeah, there's your sleepers, there's your abandoned railway infrastructure for today. So it's just a short walk around from where I was to where the 1845 station site is. So I'm hoping to see what I can see there. Now it is an ambulance parking site or something like that. So I might not be able to get access, but we will see. I will ask nicely. If not, I will zoom in through the fence. I mean, that's all you can do really, isn't it? If you don't ask, you don't get.
So where that Voyager just passed is the entrance to the old 1845 station, now a like an ambulance depot. And as you can see, there is nothing left at all, completely ripped apart. Um, I've actually been lucky enough to get a short piece of footage from inside there, just so you can see what it looks like. As you can see, it is blank and nothing at all. So there's nothing to really see, but it also extended into the car park of the adjoining house. So we'll see if there's anything left at all. I highly doubt it. So coming in here, I can see there's actually a little bit here. So this wall looks like it's an original wall here. And you can see that when it joins onto this one, this wall's different. This would have been built over where the track probably would have gone. And it would have come through here where this curved wall is now. And it probably would have, there would have been platforms. This actually, thinking about it, this could have been an entrance. Ooh, a train. Yeah, thinking about it now, actually, I'm going to redo what I said then. I'm going to undo that. I've just had a look around here, and I think I found the old... Do you mind? I'm recording a video. <clears throat> I think I found the old entrance to the station. Underneath these bushes here, you've got this gap in the wall, and it looks very old. You've got that bit there that leads in, and here. So could this very well have been where people walked in to the old station? Let's have a quick look here as well. I think I just saw, there's a big stone in there. Then if you can just see it, big stone, it goes all the way up. That could have been a gate post. So this wall here looks new. These are recent, and this is the old entrance into the station. Now, it's hard to get an image of what this scene would have looked like. So let's paint a picture with, shall we? The year is 1845. The line has just been built. Only a few weeks ago has it opened. You've gone down to the station in your Sunday best, awaiting a train to get into Manchester. There are locomotives pulling into the platform, two two twos, patentees, maybe the very early crew type. The carriages are small, four-wheeled things, with not a lot of room. The trains are small in themselves, four coaches, maybe five if you're lucky. You aboard the train, and it heads north to Manchester. So that's that then. That was the video. I hope you enjoyed it. My visit to Macclesfield's first station. Now, yeah, inconsistency, different shirt. Well, that's because it's two months later now. It's August right now. The video you just watched was recorded way back in June. And last week, I launched the Patreon. Well, l last week for me, quite a while ago for you, because this video is coming out in September due to just the way my videos work. So... It's never too late, though, to come and show your support. So if you want to, there's a link in the description there. Uh, you can uh, come and join my Patreon, and you'll have a you'll have a fabulous time. Don't worry, you get access to my Discord, you get the official Abandoned soundtrack, um, and probably various other perks I've not even thought of by now, but who knows. So the minimum is £2, which is less than a coster. Um, so I'd absolutely be super appreciative. Obviously, no hard feelings at all if no one can contribute. Life is hard right now and I'm just some random on YouTube but yeah it exists so please and if you know usual call to action like comment subscribe and all that but um join me next week or two months ago or wait how long ago? I forgot time's weird Highball Road Station next video